Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Rest Just Roll With It. I am talking too fast. Sorry. Just Roll With It on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. This is a series from 2019 to 2020. It is two seasons long. It more than likely died due to the pandemic, uh, because this is one of those rare examples in modern day television where they would have a live studio audience. Yeah. Without being able to have a filmed here likely in California without having a studio audience full of children and their parents you can't really do this thing why because yeah it's a sitcom it's scripted um, but there's a twist to it and we actually have watched the um, shorts I guess there's a, there's actually a few series that are just roll with it there's one that was like premiered live I guess like live live aired <laughs> because these are all pre-taped in front of a studio audience and and then aired but they did one where it was live and then broadcast on Disney Channel or whatever and then there's also another one that was uh, just shorts and sort of behind the scenes I guess on how they did all this stuff um, I got a sorry a bit of a kerfuffle here just roll with it. I want to make sure I get their their names to tell you. Here it is. There it is. Uh, actually, it says it's through 2020 to 2021, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. Either way, it, it came out during the pandemic, and they have obviously it shot a bunch of stuff in advance um, of uh, the pandemic to come. So uh, what this is, it's four cast members, a family uh, joined together, uh, Parents got remarried to each other, and uh, it's father and son, mother and daughter, and they kind of clash and cross over between them. The usual sitcom stuff. It's like, uh, Will is dad getting along with the son, mom getting along with daughter. Uh, what happens when one likes the other child more, or plays with them more, or I don't know, just whatever they do, it creates tension and they gotta work it out. But that's, that's just your normal sitcom trope. They go through all sorts of things. And then, well, a horn blasts at in the middle of a scene. And the audience all has remote controls. And they're allowed to vote on three different scenarios that are supposed to happen next. The, the cast has no idea what those three scenarios are. And they don't know what's coming. So it's, uh, it's an extra layer of comedy. Uh, you get to see kind of behind the scenes as well in this. Uh, you see them reacting backstage. You see them when they've cut the scene and they, they're out there like, oh my gosh, don't get too weird or mean with us. Uh, it, it, like, because they're put in the hands of the kids. Now, yeah, this is more than likely, maybe they don't, don't know what's happening. Maybe they do. I think there's some things they kind of have to do. They kind of have to know in advance. There's There's certain set pieces that are, unavoidable like in the first one I could see the little girl when she after they made the vote and she walked on the stage that she looked off into the rafters to see if there was any thing that she could see coming like, like ping pong balls dropping from the ceiling or something uh, that was by the way that what they did for the practice sequence to explain to the kids and the audience watching the show what this whole thing was about and the whole concept behind everything so it's very interactive, but really it's all, it's it's kind of like um, an opportunity for the audience to slime the cast. Yeah. Mom, dad, little boy, little girl. Just slime them with various colored viscous liquids. So, yeah, <laughs> like, like Nickelodeon, uh, and uh, you can't do that on television. Oh my gosh, I am, I am that old. So <clears throat> this is not Nickelodeon, obviously, but in this we get to see um, them just go through, make their way. It, it's, it, is, it involves improv. It involves them improving through that sequence to the next uh, scripted sequence. When they know that that part is done, they get cues, I think, off stage from the producer to go into their next, go into the next bit of dialogue that's already been scripted. Uh, in the first one, I'll ruin it for you. Um, they're, the father and the stepdaughter are supposed to do a little radio program together. Dad's a, a DJ, I guess. 
I don't know why this wouldn't be a podcast, but eh, either way, it's a live broadcast, and, and Mom sort of runs the home radio station. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but Dad is the personality. The son is afraid to be on the radio because he messed up one time, and the daughter is very excited. Well, the gist of the, the, the unscripted sequence is, oh, um, what's going to happen here uh, when they are given three different one of three different scenarios that the audience picks that they got to do live on the air and one is the barf breakfast bonanza or something like that so they're each given stacks of a rack of food like gross food to mix together and make into a burrito and feed it to the other person where she the little girl puts together a gefilte of fish she by the way she doesn't even understand what some of these words are she's mispronouncing all of them and you also get to see the other cast two cast members who are not in the scene off stage reacting and watching to see how things are going so you kind of get to see that little sequence uh but they're in character when they're doing these things um for the scene so she makes this gefilte fish with i don't know just random gross stuff put together in a burrito and dad gamely eats it he just mm, you know and then of course they turn the tables and he has to make one for her with a lot of stuff that seemed really softball like you know like Gel, it's like gummy worms and some rather like oh i guess it would be torture to do that to a child to poison a child with all sorts of really gross stuff because maybe she has a sensitive stomach maybe it's in her contract so those kind of things i imagine they already they while they may not know the exact circumstances in which they get these uh things fed to them they probably had to go through a whole list of things. Are you allergic to this? Are you allergic to that? Uh, do, can you eat this? Can you? Because they don't want their actual actor to vomit on stage because they ate oysters or something. Like they didn't like oysters and mixed with hot dog juice, you know, and gummy worms and God knows what else. Whereas the dad, the adult male, he could he could handle some gross stuff. He's he's a grown man. Little, but I don't eight-year-old i have no idea how big she is she's she's little and yeah you don't want that little child barfing so so yeah it uh it, uh, they they go through all sorts of these things each episode has like three or four different sequences where the audience gets to pick so even down to the final scene with uh the final shot of the day uh like the, 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 the very last one i'm not going to ruin the other ones but uh one of the options was wrecking ball uh, smashes through the house like this is obviously you know there's no continuity between these episodes for the most part it's just it's character stuff um and then, so they like wrecking ball comes smashing through and suddenly they're on a set where it keeps rocking back and forth it's on a gimbal like there's no way they wouldn't have known that they were on a gimbal set like rolling back and forth doing their lines in yeah it's so you have to suspend disbelief. The, the producers, even if the kids picked out the the lamest of the three options, you know what? It's they're they're going to pick the one that plays the best. The producers are already you know oh is it barfy? Is there pigeon poop? Is there whatever it is? They're going to pick the grossest option that would make the biggest laughs. So that makes sense. Um, I only watched one episode. I got the gist of it. It's cute. And again, I've seen the other related series to this uh, with the short versions of this stuff. It's, 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 it's fun. I think, uh, I think a family watching it together might get a big kick out of it, especially with little kids. Uh, it's never so gross or so dis disgusting that nobody could stand watching it. It's not jackass. So, yeah, it's, 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 kid it's jackass for kids. Oh, crap. I just... Good thing the show's not in the air anymore, because they could use that tag and hate me for it. But yeah, it's it's jackass for kids. So with the, for families, for families, it's family jackass. So family jackass is what it is, and I just said that fifteen times. Anyway, let's pick tomorrow's episode. Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. <clears throat> Fifty-seven. Uh. Oh, wow. I mean, hey, we're in Halloween, we're in October and Halloween month and everything else, and we've seen the original of this. I mean, we've even seen, you know, we saw Hocus Pocus 2 at the end of September. Um, we got another sequel here. We have a sequel to a classic 
very Disney Channel show, very Disney Channel movie we are going to be watching. And by the way, I'd never heard of this or its original, the original film before I started the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I had never heard of it. I don't watch Disney Plus. I mean, I don't watch Disney Channel. I didn't grow up with Disney Channel. I was a bit too grown up for it, I think. <laughs> so I didn't get to see this stuff in the 90s and early 2000s. This, I don't know what year it's from, but it is The Bride of Boogity. So, yeah. Bride of Boogity, Mr. Uh, Mr. Boogity is kind of a cult classic kind of film. Uh, if you haven't have, if you haven't seen it yet, if you haven't heard it uh, talked about it, I have a video that talks about it. Go search my videos, and you'll see the original, my original r review uh, or discussion, alone person discussion, in uh, our, on Mr. Boogity. But now we get Bride of Boogity. He's getting a getting a partner. So anyway, Bride of Boogity is next in the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow with that. Bye.